Hey guys, how's it going? Kevin Cleary here with a knife video for you. Uh, I was in the woods that you can see over there, but I've moved over into this clearing because the bugs were bugging me a little bit. Um, out here, it's actually kind of nice. There's a bit of a breeze, so everything's pretty nice. I've got a couple of knives to compare for you today, which happen to be two of my very favorite fixed blades. It's going to be a challenge to hold them both at the same time, but I think I can pull it off at least for uh, the introduction. So let's scroll down and take a look at what I've got for you. There we go. Okay, so we have the Chris Reeve Knives Neala, that's up here at the top, and the Lion Steel M4. Two knives that have really, really, uh, I mean, I liked them before, okay? I, you know, even before I owned them, I thought they were pretty good. Uh, but now having owned and carried and used these knives, I just am more impressed all the time. I take so much joy from owning these knives. They're just really, really fantastic. So, um, they're not the most comparable knives in terms of price point, but they are rather comparable. So this would be about, I think these go around 250 and these go for around 150. However, they are a little more comparable in terms of purpose. Both are sort of medium size, stocky, you know, heavier use fixed blades. Both are gonna be pretty nice for EDC tasks. Um, and can also definitely get some hard work done for you. Obviously, you're limited by the length of the blade on both of these to, you know, I don't know, the size of batoning or something like that you can do. But for me, these are great fixed blades for outdoors because I'm gonna pair this with a folding saw or a hatchet. And so this can do all my finer tasks, but still be tough enough that I can really depend on it. Well, at the same time, being small and controllable and highly versatile. So. Uh, you know, you can take this one knife and it doesn't matter whether you're getting your fire ready or cutting up vegetables for whatever you're going to cook over the fire or skinning an animal or whatever the case may be. I might suggest that the Neala blade is not ideal for skinning, but anything short of that, uh, very, very versatile little knives. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and start off with that point then. Size and weight, you can see the comparison here in front of you. Obviously, the Neala is larger at eight and three quarter inches while the Lion Steel is only eight inches, it's actually more like eight and one eighth. Um, blade length, again, you can see that there's a bit of a difference there. The, the Lion Steel is like three and five eighths, while the um, Neala is a full four inches. Uh, handle length, again, now the handle length is interesting because it's a little closer and you do get quite a bit of grip area here. So you pretty well have uh, four inches of grip area on this um, four and a quarter inch handle. Well, on the other side, you've got uh, a bit of a larger handle, closer to five inches, however, more like three and three quarter inches of grip area. Um, so, you know, they, it ends up kind of balancing out that way in terms of handle size. Finally, the weight on these is virtually the same. Both of these are right around six ounces. Okay, and you can definitely tell that, and that's part of the reason I'm comparing them. Like, both of these are pretty stocky little knives, and that's one of the things that I find rather appealing about them is they're able to be quite heavy-duty, quite stocky, and confidence-inspiring, yet both of these will cut and will cut very, very well. Uh, let's... Did I already... Oh, yeah. Uh, I guess the, the... I guess I should show you the sheaths on these because they are a little bit different. I'm not going to be able to do this at the same time. But the line steel sheath, leather sheath, rather traditional looking, just a, a snap here. It does ride pretty high, and I do like that a lot. It makes it a little easier to EDC. Uh, switching over here, let's grab the Neala sheath. You can see, very nice. I have uh, put some Neats foot oil on this guy and, and uh, water and wetted it to... to mold to the blade just a little bit tighter and it does have very very good retention so uh, anyway the only difference being in terms of size that well the Neala is bigger uh, it Anyway, yeah, the nail is bigger. They weigh about the same. Uh, it, it hangs down a little more, I find. Uh, the line steel in carrying it, it's just a little more concealed. Um, 
and, and so I find like if I'm wearing this with a shirt, the shirt's like hanging down to here and you're not really going to tell where this sticks out a little bit more and therefore is a little bit more obvious. Uh, both of these traditional sheaths I do enjoy quite a bit. Um, obviously, I, and I've said this lots of times, so I would prefer a Kydex sheath for EDC, but these knives are so nice that I'm willing to make an exception. And the sheaths do work well enough that I don't feel like it's justified getting a, a Kydex sheath made although I have toyed with the idea for both of these and maybe eventually that will become a thing. Uh, let's do a quick comparison on these blades. So we've got, I'll drop the sheaths down here. There we go. So we've got M390 here on the Lion Steel, high flat grind, a very high flat grind, in fact, reasonably thin behind the edge. Over here, we've got S35 AVN, a very nice hollow grind, pretty, pretty shallow hollow grind to still include some toughness. And it's, let's see, you can see the edge bevel is quite long on this. So there's a fair bit of material here, but with that edge bevel as it is, this cuts nice. It really, really works well. Uh, the line steel achieves the same thing by having slightly thinner edge geometry and a higher grind. Uh, so it's, it's funny that they've taken two very different approaches, but they've achieved actually quite similar results in terms of the balance and utility of the blade. Both retain a lot of toughness while still cutting pretty darn well. We, we don't have to, and I think both of these are examples that should tell other makers perhaps that you don't have to make a folding, uh, not folding, but you don't have to make a knife into a pry bar in order to make it hard use. Both of these are very heavy duty, very confidence inspiring, and yet will cut very well. Both have a nice little relief cut there. Uh, and for me, both of these have held up really, really well. Now I've had some comments about the lion steel and the heat treatment. Um, all I can say is, you know, after like three, four months of use, I have I just find the edge retention to be quite good. So, you know, if it's a little soft, it's it's not soft enough that you can notice a big problem with edge retention. So that's uh, that's about all I can say about that. Uh, of course, we know Chris Reeves hardens his knives only to around 50, 58 Rockwell to retain more toughness, and that's his prerogative. And again, I found I, I don't have any complaints in either one of these in terms of uh, how often I've had to sharpen them. So uh, those are the, that's the, the blade discussion. Nice crown spine on both of these. I do like the satin finish an awful lot, a, a little more than a stone wash. I, I actually, you know, in a perfect world, this would have stone wash and then satin here, and, and perhaps so with this. I kind of like that contrast, but both of these are very, very attractive either way. Moving down to the handle, this is gonna be a poor point where I feel like I have to say, right, this is my Carta, and I love the feel of my Carta. It's, it really is one of my favorite handle materials, especially on a fixed blade, but even on a folder, I really enjoy it. Now, the Lion Steel, this is in G10, but there are like a bunch of options available. So you can get this with my Carta. You can get it in two or three different woods now. You can get it in black G10, and I think there might even be an orange G10 version of this available. So you have a few more options with the Lion Steel, and certainly, um, the price of it means you could probably even do something else if you wanted to get scales made for it or something that might be in the budget. Uh, so uh, how the, those are the materials. Uh, let's talk a little bit about the feel in hand. Both of them have nicely rounded full tangs and both of them feel really, really good. The Lion Steel uh, is, have, is hand filling and I've talked about this in the review. This Texture G10 is perfect. It's just grippy enough without being too grippy. And I know every time I, ha I have this knife on camera, I, I get a couple of comments about the variants that are available and how different people like different ones. I I'm not gonna go out and buy six of the same knife. I'll tell you, I like this one a lot in G10. If you got it in Micarta, if you got it in wood, um, it would still be great. Uh, you know, I would certainly like to have one in Micarta. I do, do like that material, but I'm not gonna buy another one just for the material. Uh, moving over to the Neala. Uh, again, very confidence inspiring knife, very hand filling, very grippy. The way that they've done this micarta, really, when you get a hold of it, it, it feels like, you know, you could, you know, hang from this knife, it feels like. It's really, really nice. And in use, I've done a few things with this that it would, you know, just place it under a little more 
what would you say, duress. You know, if I take this and really try to bear down, I feel like I can really push. Uh, now I'm gonna, yeah. So uh, I do feel like, man, you can you can really put a lot of force behind that and not feel like there's any issue. Uh, if I move over to the lion steel, certainly I can do the same thing, but yeah, actually it's it's pretty nice as well. So. <laughs> Uh, this is becoming a difficult comparison to do, guys, because every single thing, although there are differences, I always feel like they, they came out close enough that I can't really declare a strong winner. Um, so that's going to be the handle. Both are full tang. Both, again, now, the, the other thing that I haven't even talked about yet are the beauty of both of these knives. These are just gorgeous. I absolutely love these two. Um, you know, these are knives that I can take out and just look at like this and just enjoy them that way. Now, if you've got a, if you've got a cut stuff, that's even better because they're fantastic in that regard as well. We've already talked a little bit about the sheath. Um, the last thing to really say, you know, both leather sheaths, both are, are fine, both are comfortable to carry. Um, if I had to keep only one, what would I do? Um, I would probably be really disappointed either way. I suppose if push came to shove, if you said, you know, hell, hold a gun to my head and make me sell one, I would probably sell the Lion Steel because I know I can buy another one. <laughs> um, where the, the Neala could be a little tougher being discontinued. Now, on the other hand, um, the... <sighs> If, if both, all things being equal, if they were the same price, if they were the same, you know, if I could easily get my hands on either one, I'd probably be a little more inclined to keep the Lion Steel. One, it's a little cheaper, so you don't feel as bad uh, about owning it, using it, carrying it, all that stuff. And the other thing is, it carries just a little more, what would you say, indiscreet, uh, in. Well, how about discreetly? It carries a little more discreetly. I don't know why I had a hard time with that word. Sorry, guys. But there it is. This guy carries for EDC a little bit uh, smaller and less noticeable than the Neala does. Again, both of them are quite comfortable. And if you're out in the woods or hiking and you don't care, then they're basically equal, as I was saying when we were looking at the sheets. So there you go, guys. That's my comparison on what are... Honestly, guys, I can tell you, these are absolutely my two favorite fixed blades. I love both of these knives. And if you can get both, I don't think you'll regret it. Um, if you can only get one, I hope that I've given you enough information and showed you enough about how they compare that you can make a, an informed decision. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't forget to check out the channel sponsors down below. And we will talk to you soon.